Palm Springs announced today its next chief of police, Andrew Mills. He's led the Santa Cruz Police Department since 2017 and previously served as chief in Eureka. Before he begins in November, I spoke with Chief Mills about his career, the move to Palm Springs, and his plans for the future. Chief Mills, it's great to meet you. Thank you, Peter. It's great to meet you and to uh, get to know, hopefully, the Palm Springs community. Oh, I'm sure you will very soon. So tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, I've been a cop for a long time, but uh, really excited to uh, go back to Southern California, where I spent most of my adult life and be involved in the community and get to know the people of Palm Springs. And the bonus for us is that our grandkids and our children are only about two hours away in oh, uh, San Diego. So that'll, that'll just be a, an opportunity for me to be a little bit more involved in my grandchildren's lives. Very nice. So what made you want to apply for this position? Well, you know, it came open and uh, pretty focused on doing things here and wasn't really paying much attention to it uh, just because life is pretty busy as a police chief. And the recruiter called me and said, hey, you might want to take a look at this. I really think that you would get along with the city manager well. And so I did a little bit of research and looked at some online videos and watched council meetings, got a good sense of uh, the leadership of Palm Springs. And so I thought, you know what? That actually might be a really good fit. So I decided that it would be uh, worth our effort to put in and see where it takes us. And voila, here we are. Voila. I'm curious, have you spoken with anyone from the department about what things are like here? Have you spoken with the former Chief Reyes? What do you think? You know, I have not had a chance to speak with current or recently departed members of the department, but uh, I've done a lot of checking around not only in social media, but as well as talking to colleagues who do have a little bit better access than me. It's trying to keep it low, fairly low key. And, uh, and I think that my initial impressions are this. It's a fabulous police department. It is a well thought of, very careful, very thoughtful police agency that does a, a phenomenal job, uh, given the trying circumstances that all law enforcement has been under for the past you know, couple of years. And then on top of it, you've got some really bright, capable people. Man, as I kind of look through and and see the uh, the education as well as the experience of many of the people there, uh, and even the articulation of people like you know uh, the interim chief Melissa uh, is truly remarkable, and just makes me want to be part of the organization even more. I know, obviously, you haven't started yet, but uh, any idea of maybe some changes or some ideas that you have? You know, I'm going to come in and listen. Uh, I really want to make sure that, uh, you know, it's working. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. But at the same time, I come with a unique style and a unique personality, which is I'm going to be very aggressive in terms of getting out in the community, working with people, working with the department. I'm a real hands-on, open person who loves to collaborate with, with groups and people and in other departments in the city. I think that a holistic governance approach is exactly where Palm Springs is and wants to be. And I just want to be part of that and bring my own unique talents and skills to the table. And boy, this is certainly an interesting time for law enforcement all over the nation. It is. Any thoughts on, on how you're going to address some of the issues uh, that we've been dealing with? Well, you know, what we have done here and, and I've really kind of done it my entire career is being as open and honest and as transparent as possible. I mean, let your yays be yays and your nays be nays. Um, I think people know need to, to know exactly what the chief uh, believes, is uh, willing to approach the chief and tell them what they think. And so uh, virtually everybody will have my cell phone and I want uh, to have people connect with me when I'm walking around town, when we're out to dinner, uh, I want people to be able to say, hey, this is what I think of what would work here in Palm Springs. And then the second thing is, uh, you know, uh, policing, is an honorable profession where our people are so dedicated. I, it's truly remarkable how much time, effort, and treasure and talent they put into this profession. And a lot of times, not much comes back. But it sounds like the Palm Springs community overall really supports their police department. I think that's wonderful. Uh, it's not that we're above criticism, but it is truly helpful when, uh, when you go to work in the morning and you know that uh, people appreciate what you do. And so we want to continue that and just continue to foster and build those relationships. And I'm, I'm confident that we all can do that together. And one more question. Are you ready yeah. for the heat? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know, my wife and I and my 85-year-old mom came to Palm Springs uh, uh, about a month or so ago. It was toasty. And we went to uh, Bongo Johnny's and had a great, uh, great uh, lunch uh, there and walked around downtown and just really got a sense of Palm Springs again, because we've been there many, many times over the years. And, uh, and so, yes, I'm ready for the heat. I'll melt uh, for the first uh, <laughs> couple of few times, but uh, I'm sure we'll adjust. <laughs> we all do. Trust me. Exactly. Well, Chief Mills, it's so great to meet you and welcome to Palm hey, Springs. Hey, Peter, thank you so much.